Um, and then, for example, it's something like this as a pad. A higher or, base, so this is, this exactly, is higher. Exactly, uh, like as a kind of pad to kind of have a bit more noise going on on, on the bass. Uh -huh. And this makes like makes you feel tense. You know, you, you it's like what's next, you know? It's like when you're in a movie and uh, you like, what's it called? Um, Hor a horror thriller. Exactly, like a horror yeah. thriller. And it's like someone like, what's that movie called? Like with the, with the knife. Uh, Psycho, I think. Uh, something, uh, it's like like t -t -t -t, you know that yeah, kind yeah. of that kind of feel and this kind of sound it's like Lalo, what's happening it's already you're already feeling tense and feeling in a club environment uh, it's d sharp too i imagine mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's an octave or two up right exactly it's not the same octave. just just one octave no one octave, one octave. Up. so uh, then then, then there's the lead. There, this is the lead sound. So you would have the bass, the the pad going and for for tension, and then the lead is growing and growing and growing. It's RPG. Did the lead as well? Yes, with an RPG arpeggiator filtering. It's this is a bit compressed. Because I like the, the lead to be a bit more compressed than, uh, and then to keep, to keep the volume of it stable uh, so exactly. the volume won't fluctuate. Exactly, and then changing the note a bit, going up, going up and up. See? Which will create that kind of story. It's, uh, it is, I think, no, no, no it's just, uh, it's a normal lead uh, that I, it's from Logic in itself. It's flatter lead, it's called, and then I just kind of modified it from here. Uh -huh. So it's a normal lead. And you automate, obviously, as it goes, as it progresses in the track, it automates. Exactly. The to be honest, one, I, I love, I love Logic and uh, I love its presets and everything because the sound that I want is they are already there. So um, in, in my opinion, the percussive parts are not really the best for our kind of style of music. It, if you're going Imagine. into pop, R&B, hip hop yeah. and this, yes. But if you want something a bit more pumpy that needs to have a bit more of an analog feel, uh, then you would need to get it from somewhere else. But with regards to bass lines, pads, leads, and those kind of things, the logic is fantastic. I don't know with Ableton if it's uh, if it's the same, but uh, if, if you get if, if you get like external plugins, but I tend to use the the plugins on on logic for the main leads. So Ableton has very good plugins. But you need to get the suite, which is the full edition of Ableton, which is quite expensive. I okay. just got it now. But until I got it, I was using external for, right. uh, for bass lines and leads, um, pigments. I was using a Vartoria. All right, um, all right. So it's kind of like uh, there's a very common one. What's it called? There's a very, very popular one. Everyone uses a serum. It's uh, kind of like all right. Serum. All right, I heard about it. I heard better. about it. And uh, then what I what I normally do is for 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 breaks and stuff like that. Of course, I would need something like to drive it up. Uh, sometimes I use I use white noise, but for example, sometimes I can like I use these kind of bad bad sounds, and I can put it left or right. One note, one note. Exactly, one note, two kind of, because the thing is this, that if you have a lot of notes changing with a lot of different uh, channels, then it, it can get a bit too much. So 
um, I, I tend to have, like even in an orchestra, I would have like someone going like, do do, do do, do do, do do, or do, or you know what I mean? And then you someone- basically have, you create groove with not only with drums and percussion and hats and whatever, you create groove also with harmony as well. Exactly. Every repetitive, um, repetitive uh, leads, repetitive bass lines. Exactly. exactly. For me, that is kind of the key of, of underground music, let's say. Of course, it's also an orchestral music because it's, it's very similar, I feel, that it has that kind of storyline. You need to have a story, you know, without having a, a vocal on top because sometimes having a vocal it's kind it tends to get a bit easier in a way course, because sure. you need to minimize the sounds in the actual track exactly the the, the, the vocal is the work of the track exactly. can, then if it's a shit vocal you can never make it into a good track kind of exactly and exactly. vice versa a good vocal can make a shit track you know exactly good. exactly so basically it's very simple uh, but it's there. Then what I would do is to to kind of change a bit because it, if you kind of keep going in with the same lead throughout the whole track, it can get a bit monotonous. I would I would in, get something else on board later on, something like this one. Is opening on the lead ush. Exactly. The, it's, it's growing, you see, it starts from here, it keeps growing up, mm -hmm. and then it goes down a bit, then and then there's this, there, there's a small dip here. This is this is I I remember I did a track with Lewandowski once and it went really, really well. His idea was to have silence at in at like at one part, and this was it. And I, I was trying to do something similar again uh, because it really, really worked. The element of surprise. Exactly. It's like in the dance floor. It's like uh -huh. quiet. And then. You, the track goes back in. So, what BPM is this track? Uh, one to four. One to four. Update is uh, So, uh, so normally what I would do is, I would get the. Let's say, for example, I'm starting the track. And I would get the, the kick and the percussive elements, which are the blue ones, um, in, like in the first place. Maybe not, not these ones exactly, but I tend to start with something similar. And then get the bass and get the lead. And then, of course, everything starts to evolve, but everything would be in, in this kind of bar. The idea is like, how am I going to stretch it? Like, mm -hmm. how, how am I going to finalize like this track? track? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, my idea is always to, from one to 33, that is the intro part. So it needs to, be, in my opinion, it needs to be interesting immediately. So if, because people have very short attention span these days. So if they don't like 
the first minute of the track or 30 seconds sometimes, uh, they just flip it. So Especially on Spotify and shit like that. On, uh, on the, on a DJ is different, but... Exactly. And that's why, for example, a lot of tracks are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. 